So we're going to walk through the process of transferring information from the GPS unit, the Garmin, and I'm plugging it into the computer through the connection cord right now. And you'll see I've got a window open that lets me look at the actual computer. So as the Garmin slowly works through getting recognized, and sometimes this takes a while, the computer is going to recognize it as a hard drive. There we go. I have an automatic pop-up Dropbox always checks to see whether we want to import stuff. No, we don't want that. Now, you'll notice what happened is two different files popped up. I've got a Garmin and a removable disk, and that has something to do with the uh, the actual SD card inside the Garmin. So I don't want to open this removal disk E. I want to look at the Garmin. And each time I have documents or Garmin as a folder inside of it, open that, go down to the GPX file, and in this case I have saved at the end of a number of different days and kept them on the Garmin files for waypoints and remembering that waypoints are single points I'm just going to right click and copy and you'll see I have a file here called demo files that I'm going to right click and paste or I can take drop and drag and it's that simple. So now I have the GPX, the Garmin format, on my computer, wherever I wanted to put it, and it's there. If I want to go into current, I can pull that, and this is tracks if I have saved them, as well as the actual GPS points. And that gets a little tricky because feature classes in ArcView, of course, you're either going to have a polygon feature or a point feature, so you want to be careful, and we'll have to cover that one. But for now, we've got our waypoints here, and uh, next step is to use the DNR GPS, the program which I'll show you how to use next, to get your points into a format that you want to work with.